Greetings fellow Apocalypse Survivors, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to a brand new series of State of Decay 2 called Lethal Chaos. If you'd like more information about the settings of the series, please read the description of this video. Episode 1, Alone. And we're empty. Again. So, whose turn is it to find more fuel? Not me. Last time I almost got ripped apart by a feral. I got a better idea. We could just settle down here instead of moving on. I admit, it looks better than the last couple of towns we came through. No, oh, they're not speaking for some reason. It's settled. This town is where we'll set up our new base. We just have to find a spot that's defensible. Maybe with some room to expand. All right. So as mentioned, uh, right off the bat, I am going to be exiling everybody else. So Happy and Bina, you're gone. So let's take a look at Benji first. Uh, he has a morale bonus as a hero. Oh, shoot. Are you kidding? There's already a... Already a feral somewhere nearby? Okay, well, all right, uh, let's go boot them now before that feral messes with us. So I'm not going to be looting them or anything. Uh, I'm just going to be kicking them out for the challenge. Here we go, happy. Sorry, friend, but you're gone. You need to leave. Fine, then. Why should I stay where I'm not wanted? And then, Bina, you two... Get booted. Let's do this the right way for once and find some place safe. Good luck out there. This will be a whole lot better without you. I don't fucking believe this. Well, You're already cussing me at me. All right. Uh, so now the priority is set up a starter house. And uh, Tallulah, thank you for the raid. Welcome. Are we going to manage without the rest of the, the characters? Uh, with much difficulty. By design. That's exactly how I wanted it. Okay, that's a screamer. Now, what even weapons do I have? I have a baseball bat. And... What are my skills? Acting gives me standing rewards and influence gain, which is going to be really nice. So that is a bit of a boon. And I just have to be as careful as I, I am able until I have extra people in my uh, enclave. Alright, so there's the feral over there in the water. Just stay away from him. And this is the house I am going to be clearing out. The Vogel house. Hey guys, look man, I made it. I'll report more in a bit. One thing I find funny is uh, the character will speak aloud as if he is not alone. But obviously in this case, I am solo. Let's see if I can't lure them out. I don't really want to go in. Oh god, there's like a bit of a swarm over there. Come on now. Oh, this room is full of zombies, and I'm already getting hurt. This is the most busy I've seen the starter home, like, ever. With them all grouped up in the same room. That's okay. All for the challenge. Alright. Come on. Keep following. It's the royal weed. I, I can see that. 
He's just taking notes, maybe. I gotta catch my breath. Hey, no, no breath. Right, that one just screamed, which is annoying. I hope it didn't signal too many in. A new home. All right, I think the one that Something roared new? ended up pulling more in. So there's one front yard right side. Oh, you know you're you're down below. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely down below. There you are. <laughs> this place looks good to me. Time to stake our claim and move in. Before nice. someone else shows up. I can support that plan. I like how they're talking to me. I can support that plan. You're not even a part of this. What are you what are you talking about? Our first priority has to be gathering materials. We'll need them to improve this place. Almost empty on that. Hey Nick, thank you for the reset. Alright, so next order of business is get some materials. Let me update that. Materials, pretty straightforward. So there is a building just over yonder. Uh, yeah, that's definitely where I'm going to head. It's signaled like it has materials, and that is close by, which is great. What a treat! I'm going to leave the bloater alone until, well, I don't need to mess with him. Hey, Sean, Sean, thank you for the resub as well. It's locked. Now, I know that there was a feral in the pond nearby. Uh, I don't see them on the map anymore, though. I'm hoping they're not circling me. That would not be great. Okay, we good. Light bomb. Not super useful, but something. Success. There's the materials. And shots on for bits, too. Cheers, dude. I'll drink to that. As soon as I have a, ha a free hand. Alright, Benji, how are we gonna do? Are we gonna survive? Game do is me. Wanted to throw a uh, curveball with the starter home. I got pretty lucky with how close the materials were, though. Sometimes the game will tell you to, like, run forever to get materials, and this one was just next door, which is pretty nice. Hey, Fabby! Even more gifted subs. You? Uh, with that hype train? I'm a big pink. Pink with appreciation. Thank you so very much. All right, build a new facility. So none of these, um, the trash and the broken master bedroom, I can't actually fix because I don't have the manpower. Already got to start on building this base up the manpower to real. fix that stuff requires um, at least two people or someone with like a labor bonus. So that is another bottleneck that I'm going to be facing. We've got an issue over here. Can you come help us out? I'm headed your way now. All right. That's a relief. So this is a generic uh, mission where one of the nearby neighbors asks for blood plague samples. I think what I'm going to do is swing by this gas station and see if I can't fill up the car that I start with. Wouldn't be a, wouldn't be a bad thing to have a have a vehicle. All right, so there's a screamer straight ahead. Oh, yeah, there's gasoline. Locked up tight. And a landmine bloater. Somebody moaning out there? <laughs> what? Oh, come on, I dodged you. My bad. So any injuries that I get because I have no one to swap to, I'm sort of stuck with unless I have uh medic kits and plague Q 
obscure and things like that, so I gotta be really careful about sustaining damage. And then the other issue is, eventually, um, Benji here will get tired and need to sleep, so I'm sort of on the clock to try to find other people before I'm completely out of stamina due to the fact that I'm dead on my feet, tired. So there's a lot of, uh, difficulty constraints, let's call them. And cheers! I'll be dropping off these materials and then refueling the car and then checking in with Sunny, who is of the villagers. So one of the other challenges is um, I can't purposefully disband enclaves. So what that means, oh, I think the feral no more of that. might have just blown up the bloater out there. Uh, so what that means is um, I can't recruit from enclaves unless they ask to join. Right, I'm. I won't be recruiting allies or anything like that. So even harder. That's how I roll. There was a feral straight ahead, sort of in the water. I want to be careful if he's still there, not to uh, piss him and then like a whole swarm off. Then it would be lights out for Benji here. That's the car right there. That feral's head is armored. Okay. He's saying that there's a feral here. Uh. Oh, yeah. Feral is right there. Let's avoid him. Can't do it. I have the the marker, the radar marker on the feral to make sure that I know where the feral is. The feral actually seems to be wandering towards the car, so I'm gonna bolt to the car to try to get it fueled before the feral gets there. Cause uh, otherwise it's gonna be a bad time. Having no firearms and only a baseball bat, it's not really a uh, feral killing weaponry. Oh God, feral's moving towards me. 50 meters. Hey, Canadian Panda, thank you for the resub, man. Trunk also has med, which is kind of nice. So I'm out of meds. Try to get your all of the materials that your community has at zero up above zero is really important early on for morale purposes. You thought you were quick, huh? Let So with uh, Benji having 100% uh, standing rewards, he's going to become uh, a hero very quickly, which is going to be nice, I think. So I need bullets to not be at zero for material. Not bad. Uh, there is a gun store nearby, but I am going to head to the neighbors now. So. Let me update the priority. Help. Oh. Neighbors. I welcome to all of you, and thank you for tuning in. Happy to be here tonight. Cheers. I think I, before I'm going to go to the neighbors, I'm just going to get a lay of the land real quick. Because I'm right here at the uh, billboard. And I can do some basic scouting. What is the plan for energy? The plan for energy is uh, hopefully I can get random people to join me. Other, otherwise, I'm going to be stuck on a strict diet of, like, uh, espresso. Wow, it is hazy. What am I missing? Oh, there. seems like nothing more to see here. Yeah, I'm not solo forever. It's just a full solo start. Solo start, but also I'm not allowed to recruit from enclaves unless they, uh, unless they want to join. 
plus they offer people. Hey, bud. So helping these guys will give me a, a a rucksack of fuel. That's what these starter mission this starter mission is. So then I just need a rucksack of bullets, and I won't be at zero, and that will make Benji here a lot happy. We want a happy Benji, I think. Your name is New York. Um, what are we in? Zombie Land? Miranda and Sun. Yo. The safest way to collect samples is by killing plague zombies. Oh, well, they're selling bullets. Um, the best place to find them I think what I'm going to do instead of buying the bullets part. is... Uh, no, I'll, do, I'll buy both. Why not? This thing's basically infect the whole environment. Really also about the uh, repair the so that this thing isn't a few bumps it's away dangerous. from uh, an explosion. You better gear up before you get started on this one. Helping out like this is a good way to make friends. They want me to head... It doesn't really matter what direction I head into. Uh, but they do want that I get plague samples. And obviously I'm going to get those from plague territory more frequently. I'm going to head... Oh, you know what? Take a detour. I wouldn't mind more vehicle fuel. This thing's blinking. Okay, then. Perfect. Called it. Hey, Hazard, thank you for the, uh, the follow. Yeah, let's refill it. Juice for cars. Exactly. I've got juice for humans and juice for cars. Maybe more juice? Uh, juice for humans. Yup, that's not good. a bloater. Let's not hit that. Oh, I was hoping to get uh, play samples off of those. Oh, you're alive still. But no luck. Let's go deeper. A lot of screamers. Uh, so this is a... Um, yeah, I might be able to get food from here. I'm going to stop here. Check if the farm stand has food and check if the... Uh, I might even claim the infirmary as an outpost, although I don't have the employees at the moment. Are puppies and axe enabled? They are, but uh, they're on cooldown, I think. Yeah, I'm actually not going to search this because I don't want to fill up the car with uh, seeds. I don't really need seeds at the moment. And the farm stand is mostly just seeds. Oh, this quest is having me go very far away. I have a hard time believing there wasn't uh, plague zones closer. But whatever. I'm already out here. Might as well go where they tell me. Hey, bud. smells awful here. It's got to be a plague heart. And that means plague zombies, too. Let's just pick up as many plague zombies as I can before they all swarm up. They're easy to kill one at a time. Before I forget... Yeah, now let's drive closer. 
This is just the edge of a plague zone. You don't want to go into the hard one because it's just going to be too busy. But the edge, I'll be searching for plague zone forever. I don't want to stick around here for very long. Oh, well, there's one sample. That's a start. I only need two for the quest. Alright, let's see. Are there zombies over here? Yep. If they're red, they are dead. I'm out here, I might as well uh, loot whatever's around. This is called a skeletal shed. That's not a little sketchy. The front are made of, uh, the front of the cars are made of paper. Yeah. And the backs are made of steel or something. The old reverse. How to keep a car alive. This isn't too bad. Come on. Up on. What? No, don't door, take my door. door off. I ran you over. Oh, I'm a hero already. I'm a party planner. What was my calling all along? Apocalypse parties. That was great. Ouch. Whoa. Uh-uh. No, no. No nibbles. I'm all alone. I gotta catch my breath. I like how he's just twitching in the doorway. Hell yeah. Oh, boombox. Perfect. Now we really can have a party. And a water cooler? Ethanol? My bad. Could be one of those kind of parties in a box mine? Okay. It's gonna be it's gonna get crazy. Um I'll put the ruck That's on me so that I can full loot. Let's take the book, drop off the water cooler because it weighs 20 kilo or 20 pounds. It's body time, exactly. The changes in beta branch look really cool. Yes, I don't generally play uh, play betas streaming though, because you know they're not known to be stable. Get warned about that. Not to trust them. One of the advantages of my starting location is a lot of the buildings around me are not infested, so that's going to give me a lot of initial outposts for a trickle of resources if I have the influence, which is kind of nice. And with Benji's uh, influence and standing bonus rewards, I should get a lot of influence. Oh, that's a person. Uh, really, really quickly. I think. Tis the hope. With these plague samples, I can make something that'll cure blood plague if one of us gets infected. We're happy to share the recipe if you need it. Did you drop your fuel bag? Thank you. E right it's here easy. where I can't act. Okay. Yes, you did. So that's the fuel rucksack that they were going to give me as a reward. And it is, um, well, it's inaccessible. Uh, 
So no fuel for me. Hey. <laughs> All right. I used to think that hell was the only place that people could suffer like this. That's nice. How chaotic of them? Ah, uh, no kidding. All right, well, I'm just gonna go home slightly less with slightly less than I I was hoping for. Um, maybe I will swing by the abandoned clinic though. I wouldn't mind uh, getting some initial outposts, and I do have the influence. Just die. Perfect. And unturtle. I haven't played this in a while, so if you're uh, wondering about any changes made to it, I won't be able to answer any of those questions. Because I have no idea. Played it in months. So I'll be rusty. Ooh, coffee. That could help. Something doesn't feel right. Okay, I don't think zombies remain. Good. Let's claim it. Our post is done. All fancy and fresh. No, almost Another boombox? Yep. A little more work here could pay off. Ooh. Nice. Sanitizing machine is really nice one when you have power. Because you can uh, clear blood plate quicker. Oh, and a cleansing station. All right, perfect. Nothing left to find here. That's the equivalent that's slower, but does not require power. I will add it. Uh, and this is fully cleared. Cool. Uh, now I'm just hoping for there to be things offered to me. Uh, one thing that freak I could do... Oh, freak? What freak? Ah, uh, it's just a scrimmer. Uh, one thing that I could do is radio to find people. So one thing that I said in the beginning of the game is I wasn't going to use any of the freebies like supply drops or... Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Well, there goes my influence. Um... Oh, well. That's gonna bite me that. Yep, it is gonna bite me. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna be using any of the freebies because I don't want to. Yeah, spending 350 influence early on for something as stupid as, like, show me a plague heart that I'm not going to be able to destroy for ages. Oh, Definitely. Wow. What a well. That was loud. I'm just trying to get the uh, the alerts to go away. What I was hoping to do is find other survivors, but with only yeah, I'll do it anyway. Hello there. So Herald of the Scroungers, because the more survivors that I find, uh, there's a greater potential for them to offer missions that I might want mm -hmm. to take in order to form some sort of alliance or something. Uh, so. Welcome to the party. They are down there. Good. Let's go say hi. In a an official capacity. I hope it's possible to off-road here. I haven't played Drucker in a long time, so. Oh yeah, I remember Drucker. I remember 
I'm struggling to try to find a way to get between these hills. It's possible, it's just annoying. Whoa, a lot of plague zombies around here. I make this game look easy, or am I just good? Uh, uh, it's up to you to decide. Maybe I'm just lucky. That seems more likely. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. Hi, Harold. Arnie and Tira. Dead guys are closer than I'd like. Okay, they are now formally introduced. Uh, let me try to loot something. Oh, well, that's a play card. But yeah, I'll try to loot around here because I know that these guys are uh, nearby to help me if things go wrong. But I'll probably not fast search just so they don't make any extra noise. Celebrity Gossip Magazines. Nice. They probably fetch a very high price here in the aftermath. Oh, that's a bit of a swarm in there. I kind of feel bad. But I'm not going to be able to handle the swarm without damage. So I'm just going to rely on uh, the scroungers. So go scrounge up some courage and... Kill some of these zombies for me. I might as well sell them the uh, the gossip magazine. Cramps of space. Good to see you. I got some stuff to trade. How about it? Sure, why not? Wow, you were blind. Okay. Cleaning station is installed, which won't help me until I get extra I people. This quick. All I need to do is not to touch the heart so that I don't get holy hell swarm on me. I'm just here for the food. Maybe meds. Yeah, there's the meds. After this, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to try to call or maybe search some gun sites. See uh, what kind of firearms I can find. Perhaps I'll get a, a shotgun or a crossbow or something, something nice. What if I just hit it once? <laughs> The problem is, uh, with my newly made friends that live next to the heart, they would probably not fare very well. And that would not be a, a friendly thing for me to do. YOLO! Oh man, it is dark and foggy, I can barely see. I almost just hit a bloater. That'd be a quick end to a series. <laughs> Here lies Benji. Hit a bloater. First night of his survival. So far, so good. Very minimal damage. Back to help.
Uh, I don't have enough materials to build a workshop, but uh, what I can do is head to gun places. So there's the water pump station. I thought there was a gun store nearby. Barn shed. I'll just drive around until I find something. It was up north. It's been a while. So, search for weapons. Off we go. Oh, uh, there's actually one thing I should do. I'm not exactly sure when uh, Benji here is going to start to get tired, so I'm, I should carry the copy with me, just in case. Because once I start to get fatigued, you lose max stamina, and that's kind of a problem when you're running for your life or whatever. So you say it's across the street from the meds? All right, I'll go there. Thank you for the intel. You're going to be my uh, my new network uh, radar person. My lowly raider. gun store. Don't have just bullets. I can still hear some extra... Okay. Magnum rounds, that's not going to be useful. Come on now. 22 rounds, maybe a little bit more useful. Light bolts. Tell me there's something to fire the light bolts at us. Painkillers? Uh, nothing again. Oh, that was dumb. Zombie inside. Alright, this usually has weapons. Oh, bag of hunting ammo. Come on. That Heavy duty ammo carry. press, that's not bad, but I don't need it. Oh, here we go. I'm already full up. Uh so what is this? A twenty-two? Uh who goes there? I hear you. So this is a 22 carbine. That's not bad. And now I have room for that uh, Uzi or whatever it was. It's dark. I don't suspect I'll get a repeating crossbow very early on. That would be unusual. So a civilian Uzi that fires 22. Uh, okay, cool. And there we go. Now I'm starting to get fatigued. And unfortunately for me, there hasn't been like a go help my neighbors event or survivors requesting help. One of the ways that you can sort of trigger survivors requesting help is for you to drive around to where there might be people needing help. So I'm going to actually drive 
Um, I'm gonna drop off some of the stuff I don't need on me, and then I'm gonna drive to a neighboring town to see if I can't trigger a survivor in need to get an ally. And I don't want to take the coffee until I need it. One little missing bar of stamina is not a big deal. It's, it's when it starts to add up. That's when you take the swig. So this weighs eight pounds, this weighs five. So I guess I'm gonna go with the 22 rifle because it's lighter weight. Uh, I put stuff in the trunk, didn't I? Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 Lethal Chaos, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 4th and January 5th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my Discord community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow zombie apocalypse survivors.